My name is Felipe. I'm a PhD candidate at Federal University of Gifora. And today I present a work intitulated High Order Finite Volume Method to Solve the Two Phase Flow of Full Injection Porous Media. Well, the injection of gas in the reservoirs is well known to generate fingering through high permeability zones. And several uh, procedures have been uh, developed to mitigate that problem. Uh, they are called Enhanced Oil Recovery, EOR, and today I'll present the full injection EOR procedure. Uh, full uh, in porous media can be defined as a dispersion of gas and liquid. Uh, then the gas phase is continuous, and the liquid phase is continuous. However, the liquid phase forms very thin films. Uh, containing the gas bubbles. Uh, the, those liquid thin films are called lamellae. Uh, and we hope to achieve this effect with full injection, porous medium, to enhance the oil recovery. The swap efficiency will be better with full one injection. The simplest model to to model the full injection are the system one. Here you have this mass conservation for water, uh, for here for the get the the dimensional. Uh, sorry, it's I gave a blank to me here. Uh, the full texture. The foam texture is defined as the bubble lamellae number by the volume. Uh, here we have a conservation law. The first equation is a conservation law. The second equation is a balanced population. It's a conservation law of a source term right here. We consider here capillary pressure and we impose a few restrictions. Uh, we, we, we assume rigid, rigid porous media, uh, incompressibility. It's a strong, strong hypothesis, but it's a first estimate, preliminary result here. So thermally, uh, we neglect thermal effect and gravity effects. This term here, the uppercase phi, it's our geophone net generation source term. For that, we adopt a linear estimation proposed by Zeta in 2006, where NE we will define as NDLE. NDLE is the foam texture, the bubble density of, of a foam in local equilibrium. That's defined when the generation and destruction of foam is equal. It's a water saturation function. It's basically a step function. And the, the big, the big uh, thing about Fulham uh, is that it changed the gas mobility. So in that model, the gas mobility is changing through the relative permeability of the gas. So the K0RG divided by this linear term. So here we guarantee the Fulham gas uh, has mobility reduced by up to a factor of 18,500. So the numerical procedure to solve that that system of two equations uh, is divided in three steps. The first one is the special and temporal. The second is the temporal discretizations. For the spatial discretization, we choose the finite volume method, a conservation method to that lead to a ODE that we have to solve. So we have here S is our variable <coughs> variable vector. We choose SW and SGND as variables. H is the numerical flux vector, convective numerical flux vector. PH is the diffusive numerical flux vector. For 
the time discretization to solve this ODE, we apply, well, we apply the BDF method, backward differentiation formula. It's a multi-step method, uh, implicit method, and we use Newton, the Newton method, Alongside GMRES to solve, to linearize the system since our problem is nonlinear and to solve the linear, linearized system. Uh, we will adopt the Sundials library. It's, it's solved with a adaptively uh, order and time step. So, then Methods, the finite volume maths we will choose its two basically, uh, two schemes. Uh, the first scheme, uh, <coughs> sorry, proposed by Kurganov, Noel, and Petrova in 2001, the KNP scheme. The second one, the Kurganov and Ted Moore scheme, the KT method proposed in 2000. And we will compare those two. The KNP scheme is based on use of local propagation speeds. So we have the A term here. Those are propagation schemes. A, a max is the maximum propagation velocity. A min is the minimum propagation velocity. And basically, uh, they are computed by computing the auto eigenvalue of Jacobian, the Jacobian of the derivative of the flux vector here. And <coughs> since we use the max and mean ve local speed velocities, we can call that, we can say that the, this method has a, a upwind nature. The second one is the KT, a classic method. Here, we will choose the propagation velocity as the spectral radius of the Jacobian. So, we can simplify the numerical flux in this way. In due to the simplification, the KT scheme is known as a central scheme. Here we have a how you discretize the dispatchive flux. So, for the simulation, we will choose a, a, a case proposed by Ashur, Marcus, and Rossen in 2011, uh, which they give uh, analytical results in 12 waves. Here, there are a few more simulation parameters. And here, few results varying a, the KC parameter. The KC parameter is a parameter that multiplies the source term. So that purple line is where the shock for that dashed line should be. The dashed line is the solution for the water saturation. And the solid lines are the solutions for the foam texture. So when KC is zero, we don't have any source term and generation or destruction. And we have this behavior. Uh, when we have KC a little bit higher, 0 0.101, uh, the behavior changes a little bit. When KC is taken one, we will have here Oscillations, those oscillations actually are physical. They appear analytically in the solutions. Although the KT method seems to overestimate them, here, the orange line. And for KC200, we have a stiff source term. And the KT method uh, behaves very bad here, with spurious oscillations everywhere. But the KNP method seems to capture very well the solution, even for shift source terms like this example. Well, s some conclusions. Uh, the methods 
despise pure solutions or not, we're capable to um, agree with analytical results for the shock front. Um, the application of the KT, KT method didn't, wasn't satisfactory, especially for KC1 and 200, more shift to source terms. And this behavior is associated with KC parameter <coughs> and suggests that the schemes has difficulties to simulate equations of shift source term and reactive terms. The numerical results, on the other hand, the KNP was very good results. We were able to, to match analytical results. And those analytical results are in seven waves, so uh, the feature of the solutions will agree very good with those found in Ashur, Markizan, and Ross paper of 2011. So thank you, that's all.